Hello there, how you doing? Jeff the Social AMC Business Solutions live here for our Friday video. And as you always know, Samantha does our videos and she does an amazing job, but you got me this week. So I wanted to talk this week about how your professional network can be your center of influence. Now, I always think of your professional network as kind of your, I always say the word, your posse, your uh, professional, you know, your professional relationships and colleagues that you work with. So I'll give you a quick example. Let's say you're a business owner and in your network, you have almost like all the resources you need to have a successful business, whether it's marketing, accounting, legal, uh, technology, whatever you need. And I always think of your professional network is really that center of influence. It's almost like your own company that you have, uh, but they're not necessarily employees. They're just friends of a friend's of friends of a friend. Um, you know, I grew up in Rhode Island. The old saying is, I got a guy to do this. I got someone to do that. And really, that's who your professional network is. And uh, that is why um, you've probably heard me in my past, in my pa in past videos, that you should always be networking, always have an ear out there. Just because you might have got scored the big deal or you got the great job, you should always be networking harder than ever. Because the more you network, the more your center of influence is gonna be greater and more influential and you're gonna have you gonna build your brand, you're gonna build yourself up and be known. Um, some of you out there, it's probably not the you know a cup of tea to be you know that extroverted, outgoing person, but really at the end of the day, you always need that center of influence. Now why? Now how do you build that? So, let's say you go to an event, you meet someone, you you know you, you exchange LinkedIn, you connect on LinkedIn. My first thing I always say is give, give, give. And you hear that a lot. Give something away. You always want to be that giver to begin that that's probably one of some of the habits I always say is that you know necessarily be generous in your approach you want to be generous it's important to do that give away free stuff it's really good to give away a free article give some free advice I love giving free advice I love helping people with social media I love helping people with technology it's important to do that and it's always how you approach anything is how you approach everything. Always remember that. Second thing, respect and reciprocate from the start. You really want to respect your counterpart. You know, in a new relationship, it's all you you could do until you trust built. So uh, I would give you a great example. This is actually uh, a little stickler of mine. You know, you connect to someone and then five or ten minutes later, you get the sales pitch. It's a lot of times it happens on LinkedIn. I have no idea who you are. I barely know you. I might have looked at your LinkedIn profile. I honestly don't trust you yet. So you really have to build that respect and reciprocate from top. Help, help, help. Do not give to get. You should always give to the understanding by giving first and giving often. You set in motion a universe of activity around what you assure that more good things will come your way, and they will. You know, you want to take control by giving away. And I always say instead of Pushing, you know, pushing a product on your center of influence. Ask open-ended questions, leading questions, categorical questions. It will provide you some insight into their personality and background, and that's going to really help build that influence, and you'll influence that person. You know, I always say, you know, there's a person behind the business. There's a person behind the candidate for a job. Find out where they're from. Did they grow up around here? Uh, the great thing about Boston is, you know. I don't say Boston's a transient city, but it's a worldly city. There's a lot of people that are here that are not from here. And that happens a lot in Florida, probably places like that. I always find out where someone's from, because that always brings up conversation and builds up trust and builds your center of influence. Right? You want to find out what they do. Now, the old question, I, I've sent out networking tips in the past. The question I hate the most, what do you do? You really want to talk about projects. What are they good at? What are they good at? And, you know, that, again, that's to build the trust and build your center of influence. You know, how do they blow off steam? What do they do for fun? What does someone do for fun? Do they play guitar? What do they have for hobbies? Do they like any type of music? Do they love sports? You want to build that center of influence. 
And then you finally want to find out the person's underlying and motivation. You want to find out what motivates them. So then when you do have an opportunity for them, you can present that to them, present your, whether it's your solution or another connection. So, and the whole encompassing fact about business networking, that always encompasses these seven tips I just provided for you to build your center of influence. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, just from experience, and the old question is, it's not what you know, it's who you know. You always wanna know the right people to be able to accomplish something in life. You always wanna know where to go and in order to do that, you need to have a pretty robust, comprehensive professional network. So you wanna get out there and network as much as you can, uh, wherever you can, whether it's online, offline, wherever you need to be, and be able to do what you need to do to help others, help others, and then eventually you'll help yourself. So hopefully that helps you out. Speaking of helping, I'd love you to share this video and check out the AIMC Business Solutions YouTube channel and subscribe to the channel. And also, uh, you know, let's definitely network. We got some great events coming up. Check out Mass Professional Networking on Facebook and LinkedIn uh, in the events page for future events. And also uh, a lot of great other events like LinkedIn posting parties that we got and all that. That's going to help build your center of influence. Have a great day.